the Arcturian Group. By Marilyn Raphael, January 24, 2016. Dear ones, we come in love with greetings to all of you who are working so hard to assimilate the new energies now pouring into you and your dear planet, Gaia. As you are well aware, these are times of change and questioning. Everything you once held as true and unchangeable seems to be dissolving around you with replacements that do not seem to be much of an improvement. As the old concepts and beliefs dissolve, new and better ways will and must appear but understand that those guiding the changes are often themselves struggling to see and understand the bigger picture. Send light to the leaders of all governments and when voting be guided by your intuition and not media hype or perceived personal benefit. Vote for the candidate best qualified to bring forth a new and higher sense of governance that serves all people, and not the candidate who refuses to acknowledge or move beyond ideas reflective of what is quickly becoming old and obsolete. Some are called to simply be still and hold light for the world, while others are called to do hands-on, feet-running work. Both are necessary, both are serving as light workers, and neither is more spiritual than the other. The garbage man who carries away your trash with love and friendliness is a light worker. Every seemingly mundane action of daily living when done with love is light work. Know that in truth you only serve yourself, for there are no others. Let go of any concepts you may still hold regarding the belief that only those who teach, heal or channel are light workers. Unconditional love must be lived on all levels, this is what you came to earth to learn. Examine and release any remaining concepts you may still hold about love. This is easily done through remembering that unconditional love is simply the activity that flows from a consciousness of one, and then examine your belief system by this standard. It is not necessary to know the all the how or whys, it is only necessary to live ordinary everyday moments from a place of oneness and connection, and soon this will be your attained state of consciousness. There are those who are the essence of unconditional love and yet seem to have no intellectual knowledge or even seeming interest in spiritual truth. These souls attained their state of consciousness in previous lifetimes and are now simply living their lives from that place. When truth becomes your state of consciousness, it becomes who you are and there is no longer any need to even think about it. This is evolution. Learn not to place limitations or qualifiers on love and release all beliefs regarding your, or others' worthiness to be loved. Patting the dog who doesn't get much attention, holding the door for someone who needs it, or giving an honest compliment to a child or adult with low self-esteem are actions of unconditional love. Conditional love is what the world is most familiar with. This person is not worthy of love or if you act, dress, look, or behave in a certain way, then I will love you. Many in the quest to be loved, surrender personal power in exchange for so-called love. Conditional love still predominates in relationships of all sorts including many marriages. There comes a point in every soul journey where the individual must embrace and begin to practice the higher sense of love, unconditional love, or the spiritual journey can go no further because unconditional love reflects a realization of oneness, the foundation of all truth and goal of the journey. You have all had the experience of feeling cranky and downhearted and then feeling a lift when someone you may have not even know very well, patted your hand, spoke a few kind words, or simply smiled. This is unconditional love and always flows without care or interest as to whether or not the receiver was worthy or even interested. Unconditional love becomes automatic after attaining a consciousness of oneness and often goes unnoticed until the individual begins to realize that the shoulds and musts have disappeared from his thinking and daily living seems to hold a new sense of joy. This new state of consciousness has become who you are, you are your state of consciousness. The whole spiritual journey is one of remembering who and what you are, and each truth integrated and lived, becomes your state of consciousness until there is no longer need to practice read, study, search, for you simply are it, it is living you. Divine consciousness is and never can be limited in any way, because it is all there is. Many still hold to the belief that ordinary human experiences are not spiritual. Everything ordinary is every bit as spiritual as the things society has deemed to be spiritual. Individual consciousness interprets outer appearances, so as you evolve and begin to understand that nothing is or can exist outside of the one, you will begin to see the world and have experiences that reflect that. 
there comes a time when all the seeking and searching must end. Many of you are already there, but you do not trust this, and continue to seek and search outside of yourselves in the belief that you are not there yet. It is time to live, truth. You already know what you need to know and more intellectual knowledge will not change that. As you begin to actually live, truth, more is always given and comes when you least expect it. You may be mowing the lawn or washing dishes when suddenly a truth, insight, creative idea or something relating to your work, interest, or need is revealed. This is how you learn to be taught from within, with no middleman to add his or her concepts about the issue. It is time to move past always seeking answers from outside of yourselves. You are ready and able to get whatever information and answers you need from within. The only thing holding many of you back from doing this is the belief that you are not worthy, spiritual, or evolved enough. As long as you believe that you are just a limited human, you never will be worthy, spiritual, or evolved. Ponder seriously and honestly what you still hold regarding who and what you are. The answers to all things that concern you lie within. Do not label your inner work for spiritual answers only. A consciousness that knows self-completeness, to be self-completeness will begin to manifest this in ways that represent completeness for him, the surgeon won't get ideas for a car repair unless it is something he is seeking. An artist may find himself guided to paint in new and creative ways. A hairstylist may begin to get images of the perfect style for each client. The scientist will get insights he could never have imagined when working simply with scientific facts already known. It is infinite. Ideas may come visually and powerfully, but more often come simply as a knowing about some facet of your life, or something you have been seeking more insight into. Individuals must learn to be more still if they are to hear this still small voice, which is why so many deny that there even is a still, small voice. Anyone going through each day hooked to phones and other electronic devices, will never hear the still small voice. Anyone serious about their spiritual growth must learn to be still. Make it a habit to have a quiet time each day where you can be uninterrupted and spend time simply pondering truth, and then resting it for about 10 or 15 minutes. This doesn't need to be long, just long enough for you to center, and make a conscious connection with yourself. It is during this time that you state your intentions and choices, always then allowing time to simply listen. Prayer is you talking to God, and is often praying, is not praying. Mediation is a quiet and centered receptivity. Never believe you have failed if you hear nothing, or do not have the same experience as someone else may have had, for the action of sitting quietly and listening indicates to your higher self that you are ready for more, seeking, and receptive, you have started the process. Make time during the day and even at night when you wake up to simply be still for a second or two, closing your eyes, focusing on your divinity within, and just listening. You are all well along the way, or you would not be resonating with these messages. Know that, trust that, live that, believe that, and be that. We are the Arcturian Group, January 24, 2016